you know, we talk about what you did in the 90s, but there was no social media. There was no Nothing. internet. Now, if you're a celebrity, you are diagnosed and eviscerated 24-7. Yes. yes. How difficult is that, do you think? I think it's very, very difficult. I think it's a, it's a very, very tough magnifying glass to be looked at, through, you know, and I think to be the point of that, that scrutiny day in and day out, one point of view is to say, screw it, and just walk out makeupless, hair, you know, without your hair done, and just live. And then when the time is to be on the red carpet, you could just do all the little glam thing and enjoy and just live your life well. The best, best part of it. Um, but studios then get involved and then, you know, clients get involved and say, you know, I saw that zit that you had and you didn't cover it. I was like, it's very, very hard for someone who is in the entertainment business to, um, to feel confident. But there's interesting stories within Curvy and Confident on where how everyday people whether they've been challenged from being very, very thin and then life happens, something, you know, they had to take medication, they got curvier, or curvier women going down and losing who they were when they were born to something very different. Our body image has so much to do with if we're going towards our goals and our dreams and staying on, on track with what life is supposed to give us. So these stories have a, have give you a little codondrum and then it takes you to another place of feeling good.